good everybody, it's your boy from Gaming, and today guys we're back with some consistent videos, start off with an insane deck profile. But before we get into that guys, I'd like to give a huge shout out to our lovely sponsors, Card Magica. As you guys know, over this weekend, we went to the lovely NAWCQ, this is our first premiere event, and unfortunately guys, we could not top, we could not get a top 64 because there are a lot of underlying details that were going on uh, behind the scenes, but anyways guys, we'd like to give a huge shout out to all our lovely subscribers guys. We're almost at 4K subscribers, gang. So make sure you guys keep subscribing. Make sure you guys keep liking and sharing. On top of that, guys, another huge shout out to our Patreons. And uh, make sure you check out our Facebook and our Discord linked in the description down below. Without further ado, guys, you saw by the title. Let's get into this Lunalite Orcus deck profile. So starting off with the Lunalite cards, of course, you're starting with your Lunalite Armageddon himself, herself, Kaleido Chick. Kaleido Chick's really good because it's a mill for cost, lol, shout out Dante. Um, also, she's like the main starter of your deck, and it's not hard once it turns, so you can loop it with this card, Lunalite Tiger. Now, what this card does is it can uh, reborn any of your Lunalite monster that's in the graveyard, and then it's not hard once it turns as well, so you can see that um, we do have an ability to loop this Lunalite Tiger with a card called Yellow Martin. Basically, what Yellow Martin states is very similar to Zephyro's The Elite's Effect, where um, it, you can bounce a Lunalite card back to your hand and summon this card. So, with the main combos with Chicken Tiger, where you dump the Martin, uh, Tiger will reborn, and then you have infinite monster reborns just by looping uh, Tiger and Martin. And yeah, these cards are all really good. Martin's secondary effect is if it's sent to the graveyard, obviously not by a card effect, um, or by a card effect, sorry, it'll trigger and you can add a one Luna spell trap card from your deck to your hand, which is really good, but uh, I wouldn't change any of this. You kinda, you really need to have at least one Martin in your deck, which is why you play two. If you could get away with one, you could, um, but just being able to dump it with Cloud Check is really good. So that's it for the, main Lunar Light package. Then moving on to the one ofs you play the one wolf. Basically what wolf's skill effect is, it's very similar to uh, the Miracle Fusion, where um, you can uh, banish materials from your field or graveyard to Fusion Summon, and you need this card for the OTK, which is very, very important in this deck, and the reason why the deck is very powerful going second. You play the one, one, uh, the one Emerald Bird. Basically Emerald Bird's Thorough Blade. Um, you can discard one Lunar Light card uh, from your hand to draw a card. She's really good because, for example, if you open a uh, Yellow Martin plus Emerald Bird, um, you can uh, normal this, dump the Martin draw card, or if you open any of the spell trap cards, it's like, it helps you get fodder and it helps you get to other plays. Also, I believe it triggers on special summon as well, so it's really good in that aspect. Also, and another cool thing with that interaction is that Emerald Bird doesn't actually pitch for cost, meaning when you go normal summon Emerald Bird, you can actually yeah, get exactly. your Martin, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, and, and then, then Martin, Martin will trigger. Yeah. So you get infinite draws. And then um, then we play the one of Black Sheep. Uh, it's it's not to search fusion sub guys. Don't worry. It's just a really good card in itself and basically being able to recur your wolf like what well, one of the plays is you can actually go um, Summon cloud check use cloud checks effect and then cloud check will dump the wolf And then you can use the black sheep effect in your hand to pitch it to add the wolf back to your hand And basically it's like essentially searching the wolf, but it doesn't really search because you're under Colossus So it's really good. So that's it for the loon like cards guys I don't play Crimson Fox, I don't play uh, Purple Butter Spy or whatever it's called. I don't play the the other, the blue guy because I just don't think that they're too good. And I think that in terms of the package, this is the best package you can play. Anyways, moving on to the Orcus engine now. We play a nice light little Orcus engine. Play the two Nightmares, the Horror and the uh, Skeleton. You don't play the Wand in this variant because you have access to the rank 4 uh, toolbox really easily with the Lunar Engine themselves. And this is really good. Um, and yet drawing any of these, like doesn't really affect you that much because you can just discard them from your hand and you can just use any of your dark monsters to go into the rusty so it doesn't matter and of course too because if you don't want to draw one and not be able to combo once you anything from that now moving on to some more uh extenders or starters you play the one armageddon knight and the one greffer guys if you know me i'm not going to play a deck without armageddon knight and dark greffer because i am the dark warrior you guys can say it not me anyways uh one armageddon knight one dark greffer essentially because armageddon knight plus tiger is very similar to um uh, Collider Check plus Tiger is the exact same thing, and Armageddon Knight doesn't send uh, for cost, so it'll also trigger your Martin to help deck in, and you can also discard the Trap Lord. And then uh, Dark Greffer, very similar in that aspect as well, being able to pitch and dump. It's really nice, and uh, yeah. Then that's it for starters. Now, just a small PK engine, guys. You just play the one and the one. Um, a lot of people have been saying to play the two, but in testing, you don't need the two because uh, you only play, you'll see the Trap Lord lineup in a second, but I think this is perfect ratio as well. Like the tag boost is nice and special summoning from your hands very nice as well. And you have a lot of ways to discard these cards. 
Then for the last month, you play the one Zephyrus the Elite. This card is very crucial to the combo, being able to search with Force Strikes and then pitching off of the Nightmare Mermaid is the main reason why this deck is so powerful. And you guys will see in the combo uh, later on why Zephyrus is important. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Um, I don't play the dangers just because I felt like they were a bit too extra. Yeah, it's nice because it can help you, uh, I guess, filter through your deck and get the cards that you need. But I just didn't find space and I wanted to keep this card uh, deck at 41 like 41 was pushing i wanted at 40. anyways moving on to the spell cards three fire formation tanky like broda for the deck it can literally get you any of the cards like if you have chick plus tanky it's full combo because uh this just grabs you tiger um it also it's also nice because it gives you the 100 attack point boost so it lets you beat over other monsters and this is it's just a very uh powerful card in itself tank's really good and being able to set it off of uh, T uh tiger king or whatever his name is the firefist guy is good then we play Triple Lunalight Perfume. This card's like really, really busted because like you guys can read, right? It's a monster reborn and then it has a secondary effect in the graveyard when you banish it. You can pitch a card and it rotas as well. So like, uh, for example, Chick plus this is also full combo. So you guys can see that we have different variants of this deck that are a lot of two card combos or two and a half or three card combos and Perfume's insane. And I also believe that it's not a hard once to return. So it's pretty balanced in that aspect as well. So you can just keep uh, spamming Lunalight Perfumes. Then you play uh, Triple Foolish Barrel Goods. You do play Triple. Originally, we were testing with uh, the three, the two, but you want to have this card because, again, like Foolish Barrel Goods lets you dump this and also lets you dump the trap card, which you guys will see in a, in a second, like I said. And it's just more combo extenders, more extenders. You kind of want to see this card in your opening hand so you can get to Perfume in the trap card because they're, again, like they're their own uh, combos in itself, like their own two-card combos. So Goods is a nice cutie. Um, then... Of course, you're playing a combo deck, so you're playing triple combo of the game because nobody likes hand traps. To be honest, there aren't a lot of hand traps that really stop this deck because Cloud Check does mill for cost, so that's a really important part of the deck. Again, like if they do interrupt your mermaid, you're still guaranteed to rank four at the end of the day. You're still uh, guaranteed with like you're, if they ash your mermaid, you're still guaranteed to rank four, and the extender will get you another rank four. So this is a very powerful deck, very strong deck. And then to round, uh, well, and then we play two twin twisters. It's, Again, like a super good card, being able to pitch like Martin from your hand going second, pop two cards, then Martin's in the graveyard to obviously recur cards. Very powerful. Twin Twisters in this deck, super, super good. Like being able to pitch Perfume as well and like start your combos really good. Especially, you don't want to lose the Mystic Mind decks. So we're going to respect him and play the Twin Twisters in the main. Then to round off, we play the one of. So you play the one Rota for the Greffer and the Armageddon Knight. The one Foolish Burial because it's like another Armageddon Knight or Collider Chick in that respect as uh, being able to dump cards. And then the one extender, Monster Reborn, just because, again, like, these two cards, like, although they're not fantastic, like, Foolish and Monster Reborn can still net you the advantage that you need to win the game. Um, being able to Foolish, like, Martin or Collider Chick, and then Monster Reborning the Collider Chick, and then dumping Martin, and then bouncing Normal Summon again, like, it just gives you so much advantage, and I think that these ones are really good, and this is one of the only combo decks that can play the Monster Reborn. Also, zoom in on that misprint, you guys see the shift? Gang. <laughs> Some light. Anyways, moving on to the trap cards, guys. So we're, we play the one Serenade Dance, guys. This is what I was saying, the trap card. Essentially, you want to goods this card because it is a special summon from the deck. And the reason why this card is very powerful is that, um, like, paired with goods, is it gives you the ability to literally special summon any of your pieces from the deck. If you have this, you can just goods this as well. And you can pitch these cards off of the mermaid, which makes it really, really powerful and very versatile that this deck can, like, have all sorts of these, like, really insane and consistency combos. Um, you don't really set this card ever unless you're going to pop it because its actual effect kind of sucks. It's like some Fusion Summon effect that we don't really care about, to be honest, unless you want to play the Fusion Summon variant. But as of now, you just want to pitch your Nade Dance, get it out of your hand. And Martin can search this card, but Martin cannot search uh, Luna Light Perfume, which is the important part. So if you guys look down, you'll see. This is Luna Light, and this is Luna Light. So Martin can't search this card, but he can search this. Oh, yeah, because this is two different words. This is one word. Yeah, so Martin can't search Oh, that's it. tough. But yep. that, that's unfortunate. Very tough. Anyways, uh, that's it for that one trap card. Then you play the one fog blade and the one shade. I don't play two fog blades because I don't want to brick on it. And most of the times you can set this or this and just go into the full combo. And being able to redo it with trap cards a lot more important than double fog blade because you want to be able to disrupt the mystic mind. And then the one orcus uh, crescendo just because it's a, it's a negate, like it's a macabre. Why would I not play this card? So that's it for the main deck, guys. Play the 41. Um, wouldn't really change anything from that. Moving into the extra deck, we play... The one Nightmare Mermaid because you need it, and then paired with the uh, Service of the uh, Phoenix and the Service. Basically, 
These cards are like the Orcus package because it lets you, you make any two monsters into Phoenix and then you just go into Mermaid, guys. We will show you the combo later on. And all of them come up so you don't want to not play them. Double Galatea for the combo. Threes are really, really too much. You don't have the extra deck space to play three. Two is important. And uh, yeah, I think this card is really good. Also, if it's linked, can't be short battle. And this pointer is a lot important because you can summon a monster here and then combo off in the left-hand side so it doesn't affect you that much. Then the one Rusty Bardish. You guys have seen this on the channel uh, an often amount of times. This is the reason uh, why I love Dark Warriors. Rusty's insane. The card should uh, probably be addressed on the ban list eventually. Just the one Rusty. That's it for the Link Monsters, guys. Now moving on to the Rank 4 Toolbox. You play the one Abyss Dweller. In the combo, guys, you can make the Abyss Dweller. I'll show you. You play the one Tiger King. Um, just because being able to set Tanky directly from your deck and then negating a Colossus board is nice. And 2200 is a pretty good beater for a generic 4. The one Evil Storm Nightmare, you guys also make this in the combo as well. And this is really important against Endymion decks, Guard Dragon decks, Salmon Grades. You just keep uh, Book of Mooning their monsters so they can't really play. Then, the one Force Strix. Shout out to Frank for helping us get this card. Um, this is the last card you need for the deck profile. Four six is very, very powerful because it can search you Zephyr's Elite in the combo. And this card's very mandatory. And when Wise Strix comes out, this card's gonna be even more insane. So stay tuned for that. One time Thief Redoer. If you're playing an Orcus deck, you might as well play Redoer. No nothing else to say about that. Tornado Dragon for the uh, Mystic Mind decks. I'll do this. Tornado Dragon for the Mystic Mind decks. Um, shout out to Matthew Hollingsworth who helped us get this deck like perfected he said when he was testing his deck he would rather play a second tornado dragon over like one of the ladder cards like maybe a nightmare or just make space for a second tornado dragon because he would rather make double tornado dragon which is which is pretty funny but it does come up um and then the last xyz monster we play is the dingersu um just because you're playing orcus deck and dingersu is a pretty balanced card so that's that for dingersu and then for the last two cards guys we played the one panther dancer and the one leo dancer so basically you need the panther dancer in order to do the OTK with the Leo Dancer because Cloudtrick will dump this card and then you'll banish it with the Wolf to summon this card. And um, it's just a really good card in what it does and I think that, uh, yeah, th these cards are just nice and healthy and fun. Anyways guys, that, of course 15 in the extra deck. Now we'll just get into a really standard two card combo um, that literally essentially can stop almost any deck in the meta right now. So guys, now we're going to be showing you the uh, two card combo that you need. The best two card combo that this deck has is a Cloudtrick and Tiger. So without further ado guys, we'll start the video, uh, the combos. So you go normal summon, uh, cloud check, use this effect. And cloud check again guys, mills for cost. Basically, like, its effect isn't really relevant apart from uh, milling for cost. So you're gonna dump the yellow Martin. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna scale the Loonlight Tiger, and you're gonna use uh, Loonlight Tiger's effect to reborn the yellow Martin, right? Now you're gonna overlay these two into your Raid Raptor Force Tricks. And you use 4 6 effect to detach the yellow Martin, which is very important to get your, like I said, guys, your Zephyrus the Elite. And now, so now you have Zephyrus Elite hand. You need yellow Martin effect to bounce the Tiger to special Martin. Martin does get banished this way, but it doesn't matter because we've already used her enough to get uh, the advantage we needed. Now you're going to link the two monsters away into Nightmare Cerberus, just because we want to play around the Hida and we don't want to lose the Hida. Then you're going to link that away into the Nightmare Mermaid. Using Mermaid's effect, we're gonna discard the Zephyrus the Elite to summon the Orcus Nightmare. So, Bad Boy Nightmare is gonna be right here. Zone placement isn't too, too particular as long as you have some zones here or here. So we're not gonna get over that. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to go and scale the Tiger and use Tiger's effect to reborn Collider Chick right here. Now again, guys, Collider Chick's not a hard one to turn, so we're gonna use Chick's effect. And Chick is going to dump your other uh, rank four, so level four. So it doesn't matter if it's Emerald Bird or another Collider Chick, but we just dumped the Emerald Bird in case like we had another good card in your hand. Um, yeah, so that's all fine and dandy. Now we're gonna use uh, Zephyrus the Elite's effect to bounce our Tiger once again back to your hand and summon the Zephyrus the Elite here. So we take the 400 damage, just whatever. Now you're gonna link these two monsters away into the Galatea. And again, guys, since we haven't used any Orcus effect, we're not locked in the Darks, right? So now we're going to overlay the Zephyros and the Cloud Chick right here into your Abyss Dweller. And now basically the reason why you make Abyss Dweller here guys is to stop the Orcus matchup and the mirror match is very very easy once you do this. Again you can also make the Tornado Dragon as well but just for I guess meta sake we're going to make the Abyss Dweller. So now from right here guys we're going to use the Nightmare Effect to target the Galatea to dump the Harp Horror 
And then we're gonna use our pour effect to special the symbol skeleton right here. Right, now we still have the Tiger Reborn, right? So now what we're gonna do is you're going to link these two away into your Rusty over here, away because you don't wanna clog the zone. Now we're going to use a Rusty effect to set the Fog Blade and to dump the Ancient Cloak right here. Now banish the Cloak, add the Shade in your hand, right? Main thing, what you guys want to make sure is that you at least have one of your pendulum zones open for Tiger to be able to do his thing, or else you guys are put in a really awkward situation. Banish to special the Galatea. Now you can use Galatea's effect. Shuffle whatever you feel is necessary. Um, we're going to shuffle back the Nightmare, and we're going to set the Crescendo. Uh, we'll just show it that we have it, like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, special summon Dingirsu. And now we're going to go uh, Dingirsu effect to attach the symbol, right? Now we special the boots and you're gonna link these two away into your second Galatea. Now you're going to use the boots effect, banishing it to add the shade brigandy into your hand. And now you're going to scale the tiger, use tiger's effect to reborn your emerald bird right here and then you're gonna go set activate, summon, overlay right here, into your either Time Thief Redoer or Evil Storm Nightmare. Blind, I still think that Redoer is better, just because you already have so many disruptions. But again, guys, you can summon the Evil Storm Nightmare here and push for more. So just for that sake, I'm gonna summon the Time Thief Redoer. So now, guys, uh, we're going to look at our like what we have so far. So right now, off of two cards, we have a Crescendo, Negate Anything, a Fog Blade, a Redoer Disruption, an Abyss Dweller, sorry about that, and an Abyss Dweller, right? If you have any other extender, you can actually make another rank four, which is uh, the Evil Storm Nightmare, and you'll have a floating Redoer. So this is one of the best versions of Orcus. Like right now, there are all sorts of different variations and different consistencies. And yeah, again guys, this is Hamza from Arthur Gaming. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share this video. Stay tuned for some more awesome deck profiles that we're gonna be breaking the meta. Without further ado guys, this is Hamza from Rathagaming, signing out, peace.